Thank you. Unlike Dojo, obviously that was not real. Uh, so Dojo is real, uh, the Tesla bot will be real. Um, but uh, basically, if you think about what we're doing right now with the cars, uh, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like se semi-sentient robots on wheels. Um, and with uh, uh, the full self-driving computer, essentially the, the inference engine on the car, which we'll keep evolving obviously, and uh, Dojo, uh, and all the uh, neural nets recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world, uh, it, it kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. Um, and we're also quite good at uh, sensors and batteries and uh, actuators. So uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year uh, that uh, is, basically looks like this. Um, and it's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course. Um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Um, we're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. So it's a, uh, it'll be a, you know, a light, a, a light, yeah, I anyway, don't five miles an hour, you can, if you can get run past than that, it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, around, around uh, five foot eight, um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the autopilot system in it, so it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras, and. Um, yeah, uh, full self driving computer and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things that I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is c can it navigate through the world without being expl explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, can, without explicit, like, uh, line by line instructions. Um, can, you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt? Um, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries, um, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think we can do that. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, this I think will be quite quite profound because if you say it like what is the economy, it is uh, at the foundation it is labor. So what happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? Um, this is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Um, yeah. But, but not right now because this robot doesn't work. Uh, so <laughs> we just need a minute. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, but I think it's essentially in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. And um, yeah, I think it obviously has profound implications for the economy because uh, given that the economy at, at its foundational level uh, is labor, I mean, capital is, uh, capital equipment is just distilled labor, uh, then um, is there any actual limit to the economy? Uh, maybe not. Um, so. Yeah. Join our team and help build this. Uh, welcome to Tesla AI Day 2022. We've got some really exciting things to show you. I think you'll be pretty impressed. I do want to set some expectations with respect to our Optimus robot. As, as you know, last year it was just a person in a robot suit. But uh, we've, now, we've come a long way and it's, uh, I think, we've, you know, compared to that, it's going to be very impressive. We're going to talk about uh, 
the advancements in AI for full self-driving, uh, as well as how they apply to, uh, more generally, to real-world AI problems like a humanoid robot and, and uh, even going beyond that. Um, I think there's some potential that what we're doing here at, at Tesla could uh, make a meaningful contribution to uh, AGI. And I think actually Tesla's a good entity to do it from a governance standpoint, because we're a publicly traded company with, with one class of, sh of, of stock. And that means that the, the public controls Tesla, and I think that's actually a good thing. So if I, if I go crazy, you can fire me. This is important. <laughs> Maybe I've gone crazy. I don't know. So should we, should we bring out the bot? Before we do that, right. we have one, one little bonus tip for the day. This is actually the first time we try this robot without any backup support. Cranes, mechanical mechanisms, no cables, nothing. Yeah. I want to do it with you guys twist, tonight, twist, but guys. it's the first time, so let's see. You ready? Let's go. go. So this is essentially the same full self-driving computer that runs in your Tesla cars, by the way. This is the, this literally the first time the robot has operated without a tether was on stage tonight. Um, so the robot can actually do a lot more than we just showed you. We just didn't want it to fall on its face. Uh, so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll show you some videos now of the robot doing a bunch of other things, um, yeah, which are less risky, um, yeah. We should close the screen, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we wanted to show a little bit more what we've done over the past few months with the bot and just walking around and dancing on stage. Uh, just humble beginnings, but uh, you can see the autopilot neural networks running as is, just retrained for the bot uh, directly on that, on that new platform. That's yeah. my watering can. Yeah, when you, when you see a rendered view, that's, that's the robot, what's the, that's the world the robot sees. So it's, it's it very clearly identifying objects like this is the object it should pick up, picking it up. Um, yeah. We use the same process as we did for Autopilot to collect data and train neural networks that we then deploy on the robot. Uh, that's an example that illustrates the upper body a little bit more. And Something that we'll really like try to nail down in a few months, over the next few months, I would say, uh, to perfection. This, this is really an actual station in the Fremont factory as well that it's working at. That's not the only thing we have to show today, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, th that, that, uh, what you saw was uh, what we call Bumble C. That's our uh, uh, sort of rough development robot uh, using semi off the shelf actuators. Um, but we actually uh, have gone a step further than that uh, already. The team's done an incredible job. Um, and we actually have uh, an Optimus bot with uh, fully Tesla designed and built actuators, um, battery pack, uh, control system, everything. Um, it, it, it wasn't quite ready to walk, uh, but it, I think it will walk in a few weeks. Um, but we wanted to show you the, the robot, uh, the, 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 something that's actually fairly close to what will go into production and, um, and show you all, all the things it can do. So let's bring it out. Do it. So here you're seeing uh, Optimus with uh, th th these are the, 
with the, with the degrees of freedom that we expect to have in Optimus Production Unit 1, uh, which is the ability to move uh, all the fingers independently, uh, move the, uh, to have the, the thumb have uh, two degrees of freedom, uh, so it has opposable thumbs, and uh, both left and right hand, so it's able to operate uh, tools and do useful things. Our goal is to make um, a, a useful humanoid robot as quickly as possible. And uh, we've also designed it using the same discipline that we use in designing the car, which is to say to, to design it for manufacturing uh, such that it's possible to make the robot at, in, in high volume uh, at low cost uh, with high reliability. So that, that's incredibly important. I mean, you've all seen very impressive humanoid uh, robot demonstrations, um, and that, that's great, but what are they missing? Um, they're missing a brain. They, they, don't, they don't have the, the intelligence to navigate the world uh, by themselves. And they're, they're also very expensive um, and made in low volume. Um, whereas uh, this, this is, Optimus is designed to be an extremely capable robot, but made in, in very high volume, probably ultimately millions of units, um, and it, it, it is expected to cost much less than a car. I'll just bring so, it directly to the right here. Uh, I would say probably less than $20,000 would be my guess. Okay. The, the, the potential for Optimus is, I think, appreciated by very few people. <laughs> hey! <laughs> As usual, Tesla demos are coming in hot. So... Okay, that's good, that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, the, 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 um, the, the, team's put a, put in an, the team has put in an incredible amount of work uh, uh, working days, you know, seven days a week, uh, burning the 3 a.m. oil. To, to, to get to the demonstration today. I'm super proud of what they've done. It's, they've really done, done a great job. I'd just like to give a hand to the whole Optimus team.